all right we are live after some time like quite some time i hope today the stream doesn't end up abruptly by itself so i'm working on a cross platform window manager library i think that's you can call it that i think Stored. Let's just remove this. We don't need it right now. I think screen can be stored. And here, I think we should store screen iterator. <sighs> now, in it, I have loose. No need to do this now. What I can do is do an set. Well, there's no platform data right now. Hmm, no. This. Net
don't care about this right now next blue state screen i already have the screen it is uh, i don't require this i just just say it not Uh, I can do one more thing is uh, cell platform data screen is set this to null this cannot be freed because this was obtained from the screen iterator and screen screen cannot be destroyed so we just have to work like this by the way I'm thinking of writing a blog post on this because I don't find that good tutorial on x11 blogs maybe i didn't search well enough but i think i'll write a blog post about this when i uh, my first initial target is to support x3 uh, like wayland and uh, x11 if both of these are supported then i can write a blog post on this how to create a platform independent in that way and then i have some ways to build it on windows as well so i'll support linux and windows for now i don't have any direct way to work with mac os although my friends have a few of my friends have mac so i think i can take help from that but right now supporting mac is not my goal just like win linux because that is my pl primary platform and this is just window later on we can add that not much big of a deal right D init should do this. Init is good, I think. Uh, here we are not getting screen. Not connection with like this. I think I should remove size setting separately width and height does not make sense I should just set size directly yeah so and also setting x pose and y pose separately does not make sense just that that is just too much work by the way have I added no I haven't added include guards here so I need to add that and F cross Hmm, the setting window size self width is. Uh, I can just do now this self size is equal to size. Self is equal to size. I don't need this. By the way, I learned this new technique to return structs directly without creating a direct instance this is interesting i never knew this i can do this i actually never thought of this i thought this is not possible but you see i'm returning a struct but i'm creating that struct in place that is interesting Uh, this is to be deleted 
so the approach that i am following is uh, the approach that i am following is that if you are setting let's say position or if you are setting size then instead of returning void or a boolean value representing true or false i directly return the size and that size is actually the set size that was set so if the window size was actually changed then this return data structure would actually reflect that if not then uh, it won't reflect that and that actually provides some kind of synchronicity between this so let's say if, uh, cross window failed to actually update the window size or any uh, attribute then we would return the unchanged attribute and the program can actually error check here that okay this was unchanged so i shouldn't do what i was planning to do i should let either like either try right now or later on or implement some kind of error handling i don't know about that cross window does not know how the application will handle errors so here we directly change the screen uh, sorry the position Little bit of setup code was already done earlier. You can see we are doing a slash. Well, I'm going to write a blog on this. I don't need to explain right now. Uh, this is what I have to do today. I have to try the event queue because right now I'm not processing any events. I'm just doing a while loop to this. And I can actually run this program and show you how this is working. Uh, yeah, I don't have a terminal. Bin main. Right now, I'm only building this for X11, so I'm using XCB. I'm detecting XCB in my C make list and doing that. But later on, we can choose a library depending on the platform that we are on. And I, when I hit run, you see I get a window, right? I went get a window with black screen, and I can change the screen use the background as well. I can do that. Let's do that. Just to display just to show that i can actually do that uh, i think xw can sorry xcb yes configure window uh what are the arguments connection window value mass so uh we have connection self platform data window id uh, xcb configure back uh, configure window back pixel i think xcb configure config back configure back ah uh, XCB can yes. Uh, mm, I don't think this is the one. Then I think uh, set title. I think I should have this one here. Atom, atom, atom. Do we have a back pixel here? window u xcb cw back pixel we have this here so i think we have to set that back pixel uh, xcb cwt i can pass this either in the window creation yeah i think i have to pass it here i can pass this here uh, right so i can do XCB this will come first I think XCB CW back 
pixel and i can change this to let's say uh, hex cc 00 cc now when i go to ninja in main you see the window color has changed uh, but we actually don't need this to change our window color we are going to use vulkan to change the window color that is quite far away from now but i don't care about that right now Having done this, I have to now work on this follow SGL approach. So I have event.h here. This is actually greatly inspired from cross window. Uh, this is created by alienxz. I don't uh, alien.xyz. I don't actually know how to pronounce his name, but uh, this uh, event system is actually inspired by him uh, by this code so I can go to uh, let's say cb event q dot h no not here uh, it should be in common uh, event event dot h so you see all these different types of events uh, this is exactly same um i've done the exactly same thing but just that it's this is in c and this is in c plus plus although i don't like this style of code that much i prefer mine that's why i actually wrote this <sighs> but that's not point that's not the point the point is that um this is inspired by this guy now the change that I need to make here is uh, in this. Uh, I wanted to add the XCB. This is event close window event create. These are the event creation methods like e how to create easily create an event. Uh, event create event type window. Simply event create. Let me see event. I actually forgot how I said the event. Uh, so this is this easier to do thing. Event size with API chain. and 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 I think I can uh, define these as uh, constructor and destructor. So let me see. Uh, it is XW state. This is XW platform data. This should be moved to window.c. Include uh, private. 
Render dot edge. Include XCB XCB dot H. Let's see. Here we have this. I don't think we need XW state. I can just use include XCB. xcb dot h right i also need uh, include types dot h and i'll separate these two by saying xcb related headers and here also xcb related headers i would also like to get this and add this everywhere it is also not having any include guard this is event dot h contains e x x w event event data structure so this is event i forgot to do this so Well, event.c has actually created a long time I think yesterday or day before that but I think I'll just add this for now Hmm. So there is no way to create an XW event. What are you talking about? This shouldn't be private. Earlier the idea was that uh, this event is to be created by XW event queue. No, I cannot use, I cannot use DD to delete this. This method is not private. This has to be public. Ah. <sighs> I don't think I will require this. Yeah, let's just say this public. Yeah, this is supposed to be constructor and destructor now. Long ago, on the road, I got what they're waiting for.
It does not seem that good. I think I don't think the stream will last very long. The network strength does not look that good. I also need to include common common dot h. What are you missing? Memset memset. I think I can use include the string, but I don't think I need this one. I think I'll just leave this. Um, so this is done. For those who want to get an XW state, they can use external XW state to access it. Right now, what I would like to do is add a new header here, which defines force constructor attribute constructor and define destructor attribute destructor right and now i can use it in state dot c to do this constructor and here it is destructor so this will be automatically called Now what problem do we have here? I don't think I need XW error message. I already print this. Uh, I just created this for little help. What more error is there? XW state. Uh, I can do that easily. I just need extern X XW state XW state. Type this text the blue state. Let's just say connection T connection and XCB screen iterator T screen iterator. And let's just say this is your state. And I think I will remove the static from here. Now let's try running this. What's the problem? Uh, What more is left? Damn it. State dot H. I think I'll just do this. Oh. 
contains platform dependent state global state of our connection with uh, x11 server right this is what this is doing and what we can do to deal with this is this right global state and 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 now uh i think i'll just move this whole code I'll remove this to window dot C What are you talking about my friend? I can do include common dot h here to solve this issue xw state not initialized I can do local headers and this is include state dot h now I also need uh, this uh, extern xw state xw state only two errors left now stern and, and that is easy to set uh let's just do clip c headers and actually move this here i need include string dot h that should fix all the problems and now you can go uh, the only thing that I want to experiment here is that you see I don't need this this or this and uh, here I don't need even private window I just need to include window that's the point right I don't want any private information I just want the window this looks kind of private uh, platform independent to me let's just see whether event.c is correct everything is looks correct looks correct so uh, this should work the thing that i want to experiment with this is the constructor and destructor ninja huh xw window create yeah, I need to run CMake. This is Glob River site. So Ninja bin main, and we have our this. So uh, because of this, we don't have to call. Like I can control. Uh, the library can itself control when to initialize and when not to initialize. Well, actually. The library is also not in the control the linker is in the control so when cost window will be loaded a connection will be directly established because i'm hoping that if you're using this library you are not uh, just using it for fun right uh, you are using it to create a window so why not create a connection right now now i'll be back in a minute after some time till then Let's just
okay so now we are going to work on the event for event let's remove the constructor and destructor uh, let's remove the destructor method let's remove this one as well Now I'm just going to copy this and paste this again and again. I also changed my keyboard so you might not be listening that uh, tick 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 tick. The left shift key was not working correctly and when I contacted the support they didn't respond very well. So and I also gave up. <sighs> Should I move window to the front? Uh, let it be like this. I don't think we require window. Do we require window? Let's see event loop. This should be event loop. Are we like, does this even require a window? Well, maybe X, this XCB does not require, but later on it might be required. For future purposes, let's keep this. If we later on feel that this is not required, then we'll just remove this. Uh, yeah, so. To do, does any platform require window to be associated with events? Hmm. So we should do something similar, right? XW event all XW event event. One rule of thumb that I'm making is that uh, all functions should return something that can tell them. If the function can go wrong, it should return something. 
to indicate that it uh, went correctly like everything happened correctly flawlessly or something was wrong Hmm. This poll and uh, weight event, it should be defined. Uh, somewhere else, right? So this is to be defined in event dot C. Yeah. And all of this should take event. They are taking event right now. I think I should modify this one. So I don't require event create, but I do require event in it. And that is static. Static event in it. XW event event. Let's just say E. Error invalid arguments. Set type and window. To new silly event object to given I should first do mem set Uh, let it be I was thinking of setting an offset, uh, like adding an offset to actually skip mem setting win type and window. Uh, but that will just be a bit too much. Now we don't need to destroy the event, do we? I don't think we need to. to this i'll have to change a few more things
<sighs> Tomorrow I also have an exam. This Q code will remain here because I don't know whether I'll require this in future or not. Uh, something might change as I'm not certain. Since like since I'm not certain, I won't just uh, what is this? Yeah, so I won't just uh, delete the code right now. Uh, we don't need this now. So this sets up events and I just need to add the code to start filling these events. Just quickly take a look here. Oh. Event dot C need to include event dot H. Where is this? This XW wait for event, XW poll for event. I want XW poll for event. XW wait for event. This one style. Okay, let's do and then there was this code which was filling up the whole thing is it here or where I think it should be in NVM and and then and we in source cross window xcb event q dots event q update so this sir is our q Poll for event. Let's just cut this whole code.
Yeah, this is a code. I don't think I'll need this one. Key code to XW key. Uh, I might require that. Error. Return value. Return value. Error return. There is no error. Uh, this is event Q, uh, what? Ah, yes. So, we should have X, uh, the dot connection. Connection. Right, if not E. Event Q update, this is not event Q update. This code should be in your uh, poll event. Um, yes, should be in poll event, and this should be E. Let just select let just be. I don't want any this. Um, and then there is this. XW fill event with XCB Yeah, let it just be this Then here it will be XW fill event Bro, what have you written? I cannot understand. Hmm. 
एक्स डब्ल्यू फ्लैश कन कनेक्शन एक्स डब्ल्यू वेट फॉर इवेंट एक्स डब्ल्यू पॉल फॉर इवेंट थिंक आई शुड डू नॉट इक्वल टू एक्स डब्ल्यू जेनरिक इवेंट तो वेर इज इट 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 यस जेनरिक इवेंट इवेंट दिस शुड बी एक्स सी बी इवेंट लेट्स नेम इट एक्स सी बी इवेंट एंड एक्स सी बी इवेंट इवेंट and this is xw fill event and here i pass cb event e right and here this is connection this is con now we are returning just e return e well actually this should just be yeah Fill event this and return e. Make sure all pending operations are done. Get our connection with X eleven server. Pull event and fill the. given event object now i just have to define this not this or or not event well this should be xcb event uh e mhm mm un xcb event and there is no u1 u and 8 g whether you know what event queue would have been a good idea ha 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 because you see depending on masks the event data is set uh, now send put button left pressed uh what event is this event mouse input mouse input mouse input mouse button hmm uh 
Okay, so let's do this. Instead of pushing an event again and again, what I can do is I can just do buttons, X, W, mouse, button, max. And which mouse button was pressed? No, this is not. What this is storing is the state. So, uh, XW button state. So, button state. So, using this, you can just directly get the button state and you, you can use these as indices. So, this is zero. Use as index to be used as index into the XW mouse input event button state. modifier is also different right so xw modifier state xw mouse button max right let's just say state when multiple buttons are clicked at once the user code can use the xw mouse button enum as an index into this array to get state of corresponding mouse button <laughs> modifiers would also work the same way well I think at a given time modifier would be same right uh, let's go to event.c xcb event.c and mods is same throughout just this is changing so i think yes mods does not need to be that uh yeah this does not need to be like this huh An example can be if uh, XW mouse input event mouse and if uh, mouse let me just write it as button state and if uh, mouse button state xw mouse button left 
if this is equal to xw mouse button xw button state pressed do something Uh, I don't know. Let's just do this. Do something about it, otherwise, do whatever you want to do. I don't care. Clearly, touch point would uh, deal with something similar, but let's see. Now, I don't need to do it this way. What I just need to do is uh, I have event, right? mouse button press event xcb event let's start from the beginning so here uh, we have event open window e open window and i can just uh, break from here right <sighs> here this needs to be xcb event and state it is I think I can remove push event from everywhere. We'll have to think about this. Now this is Yeah. So mem set x uh, e um mouse input dots button state zero and size of e. I think this is already mem set, right? if we are initializing this where are we initializing this event focus event xw mouse input hmm. right 
mouse input button state button is equal to state and I can now use this I don't have to I just do e comma y p p oh no p p p yeah Why is there so gap, bro? Huh. Before this, I do memset e mouse input dot button state zero size of e mouse input dot button state. Ah, oh, that's easy. libc headers and include string dot h. We are done, right? Mm, set. This should work. Everything is set to mouse button state released and then they are pressed only if the button is pressed. This code is kind of redundant mods we are setting again and again you see the same value is being set again I hope the compiler can optimize it because I don't want to remove mods from here they just just it won't fit in Oh, let me just do a mouse input dot mod modifiers right 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 Set all button state to be in button state. Huh. <sighs> And now I don't think I'll pass mods here. Let's just do this. I don't care about your pretty code that much. But I can, I will add redundant code by myself. Yeah. In event dot h also mouse input. Next. Here we don't record mod. Yeah. This is done mods. Uh, 
button release same thing again Uh, and we don't need this this need don't need mods or this don't need mods or this I don't understand what should I do here. What should I set the button state here? I think I should do this instead. Should set button state to something unknown so button state next zero should be unknown right we don't know the button state xw button state unknown is equal to zero and then press and release there should be one or two this way i can use this here so x w button state unknown in unknown state so this way there is one common invalid state in both uh, press and like release and press events right update the button states hmm. Hmm. event root right By the way, as I said, the code is greatly derived from cross window, the C++ version. It, it looks kind of identical, right? Yeah. 
that's because it is kind of identical well there is no this is eq and this is xcb event ah this is not an issue <sighs> and for this let's just uh, error return if error let's say abort if reached abort if reached and this is the uh, wait event is not initialized yet wait a minute I think I can do this. I don't have to actually do it this way. I can just copy paste this, right? And I have to wait for event here instead of poll for event. Right. Now I can go to main.c and instead of doing this let me do bool uh, is running is equal to true while is running while This is the non-blocking call. So if we are not having any events to process, this will return null. But wait event would guarantee that it is going to return null. Right. So I think that's the difference. XCB poll for event. I think I can just jump to definition. So returns the next event or error from the server. If one is available, or returns null otherwise if no event is available that might be because io event error like connection or close occurred while attempting to recognize in which case the connection is shut down huh poll for queued event there is a version of that only examines event queue for new events the function doesn't try to read new events from the connection if no uh, the function is useful for callers which know in advance that all interesting events are already read from the connection. Uh, I think I will use this one instead. Poll for queued event. Hmm. Poll for queued event, yes returns the next already queued under the server does this return null let's see so i can do xw event e and while e is equal to xw whole event poll and I need to pass e here null xw event poll e while e you get next event e is equal to xw event poll e and if e type is equal to a uh, event e is not included so include xw sorry event dot h 
yeah so if event dot type is equal to x w event type but keyboard input and if e keyboard input dot e is equal to keyboard input uh, xw key esc let's do this e type is equal to this and e keyboard input dot key e s c then what we do is we set and e keyboard input it should be before this or let's just keep it does not matter so e keyboard input dot state is equal to x w button state pressed hmm so is running is set to false then escape i think yeah if event is keyboard input no he is escape and it is pressed and key is escape and it is pressed then uh, we just do this right so now we have event handling little bit of that as well let's try that uh teamek ninja ha Now if I press escape, it should exit, but it is not exiting. Why? Because of ah, I see. I see the problem. I see the direct problem here. Do you see it as well? and let's just say e is the blue event e gtr is equal to now instead of doing this i can just do this right or i can do this as well but let's just allocate this on stack we can allocate this on uh, a heap as well but let's just allocate this on stack right uh no ninja
It looks like cross window is not initialized. Please cross call cross window. Huh. That is interesting. Haven't I said this is constructor? Event pool. Ah. Huh. Cross window is actually initialized, but just that you are not smart enough to process that. Bin main. And if I'm pressing escape, it's not exiting. Let me see what keys I have available here. We have escape. Let's just do if you press any key, it exits. Let's try that. Uh, if you press any key, it exits. I am pressing a key, it is not exiting. Interesting. Huh. Not working, but I have to go now. The stream has to end because I have to go right. So we'll process the events in the next stream, I guess, or I'll just do it by myself and later on we'll continue from there. Uh, keyboard, I still have to understand. This is not the correct way to initialize keys. Uh, I need a full key map, and that is initialized by getting the key map and comparing Unicode and then initializing. That's not very easy process to do. Uh, so, we'll do that later on. Till then, Tata, bye bye.